So what we do first is we add the heavy whipping cream. I often use Trader Joe's. This particular one is Horizon. As I whip it up a little bit with a whisk, I use an electric one. This is by Braun. It adds air, which increases the volume, which means you're actually eating less per scoop of uh, heavy whipping cream. Uh, and it also makes it smoother in the process. I want to put in one squirt of the organic almond extract. I want to add two eyedropperfuls of the stevia extract, which is also very sweet and doesn't take up any volume. And then I use, I know it sounds excessive, four tablespoons of the vanilla, but it really gives it that great vanilla flavor. Four. Uh, so then I just add a bit of the half and half, bring it up, not quite to the top. And we take off this cover and then we simply pour in the cream. So then we are going to be adding in this half cup of xylitol. But first we put on the cover, seat it down well, lock it well, and start the machine. Then I add the xylitol very carefully because I don't want it to get up all over the top of the shaft. Okay, then we just lift the bucket out. And it's quite cold. And I rest this on the container, and then you can just use this spatula. It almost fits between the side and the fixing blades for the paddle. And then scrape out the rest. Now from here on, it's pretty easy. This is your base, or, or the base recipe I make with xylitol. This is a high-fat ice cream. It's not designed to be low-fat. It's designed to be no sugar. So it's good for diabetes. And if you check on xylitol, you'll find that xylitol is a very good sweetener and doesn't react with the body like sugar does.